A House Committee on Space was told Tuesday that deflecting incoming asteroids depends on size, time, and distance. The, pl- the plan that the president has put forward, uh, I think, will adequately address our, capa- our technical capability to be able to deflect an asteroid in due time. Where we are today Members were told that only about 10% you know, of the asteroids big enough to impact and, Earth and it, have been discovered. The and the Dr. Congress John Holden testified that deflecting an asteroid is determined by how much time between first sighting and the time of projected impact on the Earth's surface. The, the analysis and threat assessment is pretty fast because once you see it, you can train on it various other instruments the radio telescopes, op- optical telescopes, and use the combination of information available from them once they know where to look in the sky to characterize its trajectory and determine whether or not it's a threat. And if time is short, other means such as lasers might be necessary to move an asteroid off a projected collision path. If you have a very powerful laser, is to cause jets of material heated by the laser to fly off of the asteroid and that is essentially the equivalent of a jet engine pushing the asteroid off course. Maybe I'm just, Tom Ritchie, Associated Press. Right. I'm not sure I get it, but...